Hear ye, hear ye, this is Lord Potato, and this is, well, what if, uh, well, what if not, uh, no, not Naruto, what if Yuji Tadori was a descendant of, uh, Jaden Emperor, not Jaden Emperor, Jade Emperor, and, uh, Virgil. Now, um, uh, you're probably wondering, why the fuck am I doing another what if? And should probably go to the other ones and finish those. Well, I kind of got too lazy instead of like going to go finish them. Uh, I got lazy, okay? Just, just laziness. So, of course, this is where I'm... Okay, so, this what if is actually two what ifs that I, I actually just merge. Because the reason why, the first what if was actually going to be separate. So it was just going to be J uh, J J Jaden Ember. J Fuck. The king. Uh, Yuji was going to be the descendant of the king. And for Virgil, it was just going to be... Lu uh, what's it called? Not Luffy. Yuji going to be like the son of Virgil. Like being kind of like Nero, but I don't know. Uh, instead, I just said, fuck it, let me just put them together, okay? So, yeah. I, I don't know why, okay? Don't ask why. I was thinking of changing Virgil to Sparta, because that is his father, but I just said, screw it. I don't care. But, yeah. So, let's go into the what if, okay? Let's go into the brilliant mind of my what if. Not really... Oh, also, uh, go subscribe to Anime Sensei and Iconic. I almost forgot about that, but no, I'm not going to forget about that. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So, let's go in. So, we go into, well, Yuji kind of waking up. Yuji, he wakes up, and of course, he just rubs the, like, sleep out off his eyes. Yuji's hair is actually pretty long in this one. Yuji has, well, long pink hair and, well, like some, uh, what's it called, highlights of, well, white hair. Mostly it's like five that's right now on his forehead, but yeah. Of course, where Yuji gets ready, putting on like a black t-shirt, a black jacket, uh, kind of wearing black pants and some, what's it called, well, black shoes and all that. So boots, mostly. But yeah. Actually, it's not a jacket, it's a coat, but yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Yuji is like, ah, God. This day is going to be such another drag. So yeah, Yuji is kind of different from, well, original kind of Yuji. So yeah. Of course, uh, how he's going to be looking like, he looks like this. Now, yes, I kind of edit this kind of to kind of look like that, but yeah. But yeah. Of course, this is where, well... Yuji is like going to his like school and all that and of course he also does have some highlights of black but it's kind of like underneath the what's it called long pink hair of course when he gets to school he doesn't like people like looking at him most of the time or anything and always is kind of a loner he doesn't really care about anyone he doesn't really have friends or anything like that now of course those like two kind of friends in original canon won't be Yuji's friends. So Yuji never kind of like went after school or anything like that. He's not doing after school like stuff. Instead, he just like, what's it called? Goes to school. And of course, this is where, well, the jock teacher still wants, well, Yuji to still be in, uh, what's it called? Well, try to, but Yuji disappears. This is where the jock teacher does not know where Yuji went, but yeah, Yuji left school. Because he doesn't have any after school things to do. So of course he's going to a hospital. Of course he does pass by a flower shop. And decides to buy some flowers for his grandfather. Because his grandfather is still sick. This is where when Yuji gets to well uh, his grandfather's uh, well what's it called hospital or nothing. He like checks in. He goes in. He decides to talk to well ground, his grandfather. And of course this is where his grandfather takes Yuji. Seriously. <sighs> Didn't I already tell you not to visit me? Yuji says, Yes, you did tell me not to visit you, but I can't just leave my old, defenseless grandfather in a hospital. This is where his grandfather says, hmm. 
As it were, Yuji says, <laughs> he just smiles. Besides, that'd be terrible to do. Of course, I should also mention Yuji's eyes are always closed. He never opened them, even one single time when he walked to school or anything. Is that he wear glasses so people wouldn't uh, mention about his eyes most of the time? But yeah. As it were, well, Yuji does take them off when he's near his grandfather. And he still kind of has his eyes closed. But when he says, I can't just leave him alone. He had his eyes a little bit open, cracked open. Now, of course, as it were, well, his grandfather said, <laughs> God damn it. How many times have I told you? Go make friends. Go have friends and do other things. Yuji says, how many times have I told you, grandfather? I'm always a loner. I'm always different from other people. So, I can't make friends that easily. Here's the word his grandfather takes. Ever since you well, I managed to walk in your what's called descendant bloodlines. This is where, well, we go into a flashback. Yuji kind of, when he was with the car, uh, what's it called? 11 years old, because he's 16 right now. 11 years old, kind of, not 11. He was like 13, he was kind of familiar with going on. He kind of was saddened to kind of like, what's it called? Well, not saddened, kind of annoyed with people kind of annoying him and all that. That he accidentally unlocked something, or not even accidentally, kind of met two people of ghost form, but yeah. Two people that are actually there for him to actually meet. Because Yuji kind of was looking around the house one time, well, where they used to live and all that. And of course, he managed to find, well, some kind of chest or a little bit. Of course, Yuji, when he grabs some kind of amulet, uh, like these two, what's called necklaces, one was blue uh, with silver color. And another was what to call just, uh, well, red and gold together. And of course, when he grabs and pulls and kind of looks at them, wondering what the hell these things are, it actually glow. And of course, his appearance changed from that day. And his attitude and everything changed from that day. Meeting was a call. The king, basically, Jade, the Jade, Jade Emperor, because... If I don't actually say Jade Emperor, someone in the goddamn comments is going to be an asshole and keep annoying me. Saying, bro, you just say the wrong thing. Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up, bitch. Really, I don't give two fucks. I just realized I can, I say the wrong fucking thing. Shut the hell up, okay? Leave me alone. Of course, this is where, well, um, we go back to the, what if, okay, I'm just having that chat him. But we go back, uh, um, Yuji also did me Virgil. Now, of course, Yuji was confused who these two people are, but they say that were great great grandfather descendants. But yeah, uh, Virgil was someone who was like 10 years, well, like not 10 years, 10 generations. Well, no, a 10 generation. I would just say they are similar to the generations, but yeah. <laughs> Virgil and the Jade Emperor are different families because, yeah, they came from different families. So, yeah. So, Yuji's actually, well, his species, well, what's it called? His kind of species race and all that. Or what kind of species he is. He is human. He's like half human, half god, and half demon. Because Virgil is half demon, half human. And, well, the king is actually half, not even half god. He's god. His species. That's why I said it and he got the thing. I think so. But, yeah. So, Yuji is like, all those things. So, they did have the power to change Yuji's kind of species to being kind of like, half, uh, what's it called, god and half demon. But still kind of look like a human, so yeah. But yeah. Of course, when, after him kind of meeting all that, we go back into, well, uh, well, present time. Yuji says, look here, grandfather. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Even if I was not the descendant of them, it wouldn't matter anyway. I would still be different from people. Hmm. Besides, I don't mind it, grandfather. How else am I going to have to take care of my old... Well, not Fifeta. He says, my old lonely grandfather that's in the hospital. That's why he says, hmm. Oh my gosh, shut up. 
This is where Yuji laughs and says, come on. <laughs> this is where, well, uh, his grandfather just says, whatever. This is where, well, Yuji is like saying, oh, come on, grandfather. Just take a small dose of, like, relaxing. He says, it's fine if I don't have any friends. This is where, well, his grandfather says, do you at least want to know about your parents? That's where Yuji says, it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to really know. We say, they didn't really care about me. But usually in what's called in original canon, uh, Yuji's parents, well, is that one guy with the, what's it called, stitches on his forehead. Well, it's mostly the brain that took over. Yeah, it's kind of confusing as hell for me now. Um, and also the father named Jim, but yeah. Jim Morton, no, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, this is where, well, Yuji saying, it's fine, I don't mind it. Besides, I know you're not gonna die. It's better if you just, well, live a little longer. Besides, I know you're not gonna die, you're too stubborn to die. This is where his grandfather says, at least promise, uh, promise me this, Yuji. Protect those who need it. At least live uh, well if you died ever. Don't die alone. Like me. Like how I did. Die with people you care about. This is where Yuji says, I know you're not going to die. This is where he's kind of putting flowers and, and all that. This is where his grandfather takes. Meep. Beep. So yeah. This is where Yuji turns around really fast. This is where he says, grandfather. He opens all of, well, I mean. His two eyes, and of course, it's where well, he then get the phone and kind of ring up the front office. Yuji's hands are trembling, kind of anger and at the same time sadness. This is where well, he said, "Uh, what is wrong, Yuji?" This is where Yuji says, "My grandfather died." This is where he said, "Okay." So of course, Yuji still signing up some papers and all, that. and no, uh, Fujigoro did not visit him this time because yeah. Because Yuji never really did have grab the suit and the finger or anything like that. So, of course, is where, well, Yuji is, like, kind of walking home. Even though he could have, like, kind of already be at his house. Kind of using hyperspeed because he's that fast. And having other techniques, but yeah. He's kind of, like, sad in a little bit. He has both his, like, what the cop hands into his pockets and kind of, like, walking home. Kind of past near the school. And this is where he has this kind of weird sense of danger in the school. This is where, well, he goes to check it out because, well, he has, well, n none of his eyes are open. He just senses it. And of course, this is where, well, he kind of goes to the school. This is where Yuji is kind of like going to the school. And of course, he did disappear from what's it called the kind of being underneath what's it called a light and all that. He just disappears, but yeah. And reappears to where what's it called the commotion is happening. There is a black haired kid who is kinda like tired and it's on the ground. You usually can see this. A girl with what's it called blondish hair but two ponytails. And of course this is where she's kinda wearing kind of school uniform a little bit. But yeah. Of course she is kinda like trying to protect the black haired kid. And of course, the black haired kid is telling her, no, uh, you're not strong enough to defeat this. I am Jujutsu Sorcerer and all that. And of course, Yuji also do see what's it called, like the other two kids. The ones that are from what's it called, that one group, or not group, that one kind of subject thing that Yuji was in, but yeah. What well, was in the original canon, and this one he wasn't. This is where, well, he sees what's happening. Some weird creature kind of appears. A creature that has, well, well, it looks like a human no figure. Okay, so. I forgot where I left that off because my siblings was being an annoying dumbass, and yeah. Well, then, yeah. Let me go figure out where I was at. Okay, I know where I was. So, when Yuji was seeing all this, he was just like, what the hell is happening? Of course, the girl is gonna like trying to fight against the creature. The creature is basically basically a special grade. It instead of having only one finger that consume, it was actually three. 
Because, well, this special grenade is actually smart enough to actually consume other fingers to become stronger. So, yeah. Now, this uh, special grenade can at least talk a little bit. Kind of like Sukuna. This is where he's laughing and saying, <laughs> You think you humans can even stop me? <laughs> this is where Fujigar says, This is bad. And Gojo Sensei isn't anywhere in sight. The girl's like, Damn it. This is where the, uh, what's it called? Well, the uh, cursed spirit says, Well, you look like a nice girl for me. <laughs> Fujigaro can realize that this is dangerous. This special grace is dangerous. Of course, this is where the special grace rushes at the blonde haired girl, ready to just grab her from the arm or try to kill her, mostly. This is where, well, something blocked him from even grabbing her. When he shoved, well, the special grace shoved his hand towards her. It just hit something, but it wasn't her. It's a boy with long pink hair and, well, five high, well, like, five, like, hairlines of, well, white. Of course, there's some black on the pink, but not really. This is where Yuji is not even hurt by the special grade. The reason why is because he activated the, what's it called, the, the sage robe. Or the robe of sage, or I forgot what it's called. The, the robe, you know the how the king has it, so yeah. Since it has very high resistance, high resistance to damage, to like, uh, what's it called, physical damage and also uh, technique damage, but yeah. It, it does have physical for technique damage, but yeah. Yuji is saying, you're a very interesting looking creature. I don't even think I ever seen one of you. This is where, well, the blonde hair opened her eyes. Cracker, like, she just cracks him because she did close him. And of course, Fujigoro is seeing this kid just block a hit while even being affected. This is where Yuji says, you're, you're very interesting, but I really don't care about you. Grab me, time to hunger. Smash him to the ground. Right now, the special Greg cannot get up. It's, like, it's trying to get up, but it can't. But of course, it were well. Yuji says, You know, it's very dangerous for a girl and a guy to be here anyway. This is where when he turns around, this is where, well, the girl kind of know who this person is already. This is where she says, You're Yuji's adorable, aren't you? This is where Yuji says, uh, yeah, <laughs> my name is Yuji Zador, yeah, you must be Junko, aren't you that new kind of like, someone just came into our school? This is where Junko is shocked to even know that, no uh, well, not Naruto, Yuji know her name, at least her first name, but yeah. This is where she says, yeah, this is where Yuji says, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll defeat this thing in only a couple of like, hits. This is where, well, he lets go of the gravity pressure and the thing just goes, ha, that was your biggest mistake. Yuji already appears in front of it and says, triple hit, hyper speed. This is where he does multiple hits on what's it called? Well, the uh, creature, the special uh, grade. Right now smashing into, well, the school building. This is where Yuji says, you're very interesting, very interesting, but you won't be able to stop me. <laughs> this is where, well, the special grade is screaming out. But of course, this is where the special grade, he decides to use a lot of cursed energy. But the special grade did was, was it called born into having three second fingers. Two, well, not two people, multiple people kind of sense this. Gojo Sensei was one of them. Uh, someone named, well, what's it called? Gojo had someone with him named, uh, what's it called? Someone named Yuta was actually with Gojo. So if you don't know who Yuta is, Yuta is that, well, someone that has, well, it's going to become like the second Gojo in the manga somewhere because he is considered to be like the second strongest because of his like little kind of, He's somewhat of a, what's it called? How should I say? He has like a stand, if you want to think about it. It's just as lover became a cursed spirit that's kind of helping him. But yeah. Of course, both, uh, what's it called? 
Yuto and even uh, Gojo sense this and are right now rushing towards the scene and all that. But of course they were, well, some other two people sense this. Someone with, well, green hair and glasses and another one with green hair and, well, no glasses. Yeah, this is Maya Maki kind of rushing towards it. Because they were confused and why there's a special grade actually just appeared. Or this amount of curse energy. This is why when the curse uh, spirit says, Domain Expansion! This is where a half completed, incomplete domain expansion appears. This is where Fujigar says, Shit, domain expansion. This is bad. This is where, well, Yuji says, Domain what? And Junko says, The hell is a domain expansion? This is where, well, Fujigar says, I don't have time to explain, but it's dangerous. This is where, well, uh, he says, Well, this is an incomplete one. So it kind of just looked like a bunch of stairs all kind of fucked up around, but yeah. It's kind of like the one that Yuji, uh, Fujigoro, and Nobra went in that one time, and that was called one episode, but yeah. But, um, this uh, one kind of looks kind of more complete, but incomplete at the same time. Does it work? Well, the special grade is laughing. He's saying, you think you can stop me now? This domain allows me to hit you. Even if you don't want it to hit you, I get a 100% hit rate. That's what Fujigoro did tell what's called, uh, Junko, uh, what's called Junko, because she was near. And of course, where Yuji can see this thing is kind of able to speak and all. This is where Yuji says, interesting. A very interesting type of, what's it called, well, creature. This is where when Gojo, uh, uh, Yu Yurata, and even what's it called, Maya and Maki gets there. This is where uh, Yurata says, Ma Maki, what are you doing here? And even Maya. This is where, well, they say, what are you doing here? And also, Gojo, what is happening? This is where Gojo says, I don't know. This is very interesting. He tries to touch the domain to kind of break it, but it looks like there's another barrier around it. This is where Gojo says, this is so interesting. Take me, let me just see if I can break it. It's gonna take me a while, but yeah. This is where Yuji says, huh, very interesting, but I don't care. Is it where, well, T. Kersper says, but you should care, because if you don't care, you're gonna die. Actually, no matter what you do, you're gonna die anyway. This is where the, the curse Spirit went in blinding speed and punches Yuji in the chest, like in the stomach. This is where the punch never did hurt Yuji because of the robe. This is where Yuji says, was that supposed to hurt or something? This is where, well, the curse bear was shocked and Yuji kicked him in the fucking head, smashing him, well, not smashing him, just kind of um, crashing him down into the ground. This is where Yuji kicked him away. This is where Yuji says, so, this is considered a barrier, shouldn't it be? This is where uh, Yuji kind of asks, What's called Fujigoro. Fujigoro says, yeah, it's considered to be a barrier and you cannot break it from the inside. The outside is, well, able to, but, so yeah, it's a barrier to keep us inside. Yuji says, interesting, a barrier to keep us inside. Very interesting. Hmm, but it won't stop me. Because I don't really care about this place. But yeah. This is where Yuji kind of goes on what's called, he looks at his hands. He looks at his, like, what's it called, um, fingers. He kind of says, gravity manipulation, electronic, elect electron, manic, whatever the hell the other one is called, uh, manipulation. His, like, kind of, okay, I don't really know how the fingers really work, but yeah, I don't remember the name, so yeah. He then goes to the, uh, what's it called, third one. He says... Strong, uh, for uh, strong force uh, nuclear, and also yeah, whatever, and weak force nuclear. He kind of put his hand into uh, a punch, like into a fist, and this is where Yuji says, "This is where he says fun of the uh, yeah, fuck, what is it actually called? Damn it." Fundamental, uh, what's it called? Fundamental forces of manipulation. He kind of screams that out. Combine into what they call a fist attack. 
and he just decides to appear right in front of the car, the special grape. And this is where he punches the special grape, like hitting him right in the gut. And of course, with those powers, it, he just like smashes, well, kind of destroys anything that's in well in the range of that fist motion. It hits the special grape. It also breaks the barrier. It breaks the domain expansion because if uh, if you think about it, look here. If you haven't read the kind of latest chapters of the webtoon, um, uh, Han, yeah, I can't remember his other name, but yeah, his first name or whatever the hell it is. Han is, well, he decides to combine those four with the car manipulation together. And when he punched with the car, uh, right though, I think so, the guy that was somewhat, a dra was, was somewhat part of the dragon clan, when uh, Han did punch him, he destroyed the dragon dude, but of course, didn't really kill him. Because he was alive and then became uh, a staff for Morty. But it, I don't get into that. Um, he destroyed him but also destroyed everything behind it. Because using four manipulations, combining them together, destroys anything. And also the king did also use the holy grail with it. But yeah, don't worry about that neither. But yeah. Yuji uses a fist and he did have his eyes open when he did it. Because, yeah, he looks directly at the special grave's eyes when he was doing it. Of course, destroying what's it called, well, what's it called, the barrier, but also destroying the three Sukuna fingers in one shot. Because the king is as strong as you think. Now, of course, this is where Yuji, his arm is hurt really bad. It's all kind of, not broken, it kind of shattered into a million pieces of bones. This is where Yuji says, Ugh. Fuck my arm. Oh, this sucks. This is where the bear does break down. And of course, Yuji just kind of was about to fall down because he did use a lot of energy. But of course, the where Yu Yuji's arm is kind of hurt. And of course, the sage robe is kind of torn. But of course, it's right now repairing itself. Because even if you use that technique, it might kind of well, have a very big damage to your own body. Because if you don't know how to control it well. And the sage rope, it, it does kind of protect you, but not much. So, of course, this is where you just say, I should really learn how to control those manipulations. Damn. That's the word uh, Fujikoro, Junko, and even Gojo, and Yuto, and even Maya, and Maki were shocked to see even the bird just shattered into a million pieces. But also see the special grade is gone. It's right now pe into pieces, kind of just burning up. This is where uh, Gojo uh, well, tips, bleh, with his eyes sees the remaining fragments of Sukuna's energy, but it's gone. This is where because he had his eyes kind of reveal, showing it to try to get into the barrier. But yeah, this is where well he looks around and can't see the Sukuna uh, fingers energy anywhere. He's like, what the, where, where did it go? This is where Yuto says, wait, what is happening, Gojo? Gojo says, the Sukuna fingers, they're gone. This is where Yuto says, are you sure? This is where Gojo kind of nodded his head dumbly, like he was confused. There's no way in hell you can really destroy the Sukuna fingers. Because multiple sorcerers has tried. Even Gojo himself kind of launched into the wall, but it didn't break or anything, but yeah. This is where, well... Which, uh, what's it called? Gojo's looking around, but can't see them at all or sense any of the energy. He's confused. This is where Maya Maki kind of looks at Fujikoro. And of course, where Maki kind of hit him in the head saying, what even happened? What is even happening right now? Because they did kind of rush towards uh, Fujigoro. Uh, Junko kind of was looking at what's it called? Yuji. And Yuji's arm was really hurt right now because, yeah, of course, the sage robe was trying to rebuilt itself because yeah and of course the way you says god damn it lucky if i wasn't a god or a descendant of my great grandfathers i probably would have broke my arm and shattered into a million pieces luckily it's right now healing as fast as it can from the well demon blood since yeah yuji is part of from the demon race because well or the devil race because well he is well kind of a Grandson of Virgil and also the grandson of what's called Sparta, but yeah, 
Nothing about that. Okay. This is why Yuji is just like, oh, my arm. Just gotta heal it really fast and then dip on this. Also, where did they, uh, what's it called? He's just like looking around. Because uh, the thing is gone, the barrier is gone, but also half the school is gone. Because Yuji's punch is as strong as, well, breaking some couple of buildings. This is where Yuji realized that he broke a couple of buildings. Shit. Yuji says, fuck, this is bad. I hope, um, I hope that, uh, what's it called, media doesn't see this. Uh, it could just be worse. Yeah, it's fine. This is where uh, Gojo sees the, well, long hair, pink hair guy with the, what's called, like five white hair lines, uh, well, hair lines on his head. This is where Yuji's like, shit, 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 I should probably disappear from this. Eh, maybe I should. And they're gonna think it's probably some kind of earthquake. Hmm. I mean, the power did kind of use it to be kind of like an earthquake. I can always throw a rock and make it look like a meter hit down. Hmm. This is where Yuchi, he's like thinking, nah, I should just probably leave. This is where before he even decides to leave, this is where, um... You t uh, Yuroto says, hey you. This is where Yuji turns around and sees, well, well, what's it called? Face to face to Yuroto. Now, Yuji's the height of, well, being like uh, 6'1. So, yeah, he's pretty tall. And of course, this is where Yuroto is. I don't remember what height, but let me remember. It's really unknown what height he is, so I'm just saying he's like 5'10 at least. This is where, well, he is looking at what's called, well, Yuji, and Yuji is looking at him. Now, of course, well, Yuji kind of had his eyes closed when he was looking at him. That's where Yuroto kind of says, were you the one to do this? That's where Yuji says, no. That's where Yuroto looks at what's called, uh, Yuroto kind of looks at what's called Yuji. And Yuji says, I didn't. You can trust me. Usually, did put his like what's called right arm behind him, and this is where Uruto says, "Can I really trust you? Can I look at your right arm?" Yuji says, "Uh, no, it's fine. I actually punched my arm into the wall." Yeah, this is where well, Yuta says, "Really? Hmm. Okay." Then I guess you're free to go. This is where Yuji says, Oh, really? Okay, good to know. This is where Yuji's like walking away until uh, uh, Yurota says, But can you dodge this? This is where Gojo was looking around and then sees, well, kind of narrow his eyes at what's it called. Yurota kind of looking at the pinkish long haired kid and kind of wondering if that was the kid who did it because. His clothes are different from anyone else. This is where, well, uh, Gojo can also see Yuji's eyes are closed for no reason. He doesn't know why. This is where, well, Gojo is trying to sense any curse energy from this kid, but cannot. Not that much, but he doesn't know why. This is where, well, um, Maki says, Yurata, Yurata, why are you attacking him? This is where he did pull out his sword and tried to slice at Yuji, but Yuji dodged it. And this is where Yurita says, interesting, you're pretty fast on your feet. This is where Yuji says, Yamato. This is where a, a sword appears and Yuji grabbed it. Pulls out while well, only using one hand. Of course, it's right now in like, what's called sheath. This is where Yuji's arm is right now kind of still hurt and unable to use it. This is where, well, Yurita says, interesting, so... A sword that you can pull out of nowhere. Interesting. But, were you the one to do this? Yuji, uh, Yuji says, again, I just punched my arm into the wall. Not really breaking in, actually doing this. This is where, uh, what's it called? Um, Gojo says, Yuta, don't attack him. Yuta was about to attack him until Yuji attacked him. And this is where, when Yuji kicked at Yuta, 
This is where Utah, what's called, or I forgot her name and all that. The cursed spirit that's kind of always protecting Utah and all that. Appears and tries to grab Yuji. This is where Yuji says, grab it, times ten. Smashes it to the ground, but still kicks Utah in the freaking head. Boom! This is where Yuji then pulls out his sword and says, what's it called? This is where when Yuji still kicked him in the head. Yuji then says, me, uh, what's it called? He pulls out Yamato and says, me rage blades. Like six me rage blades appear. And this is where he launches them at what's called, well, what is her name? Let me remember. This is where, well, Rika was about to get hit by these blades until it does, well, it does get hit by the blades. And this is where Urata was like, right now, shocked that this kid was able to kind of, well, managed to hurt uh, Rita, and Rita kind of just screamed. And of course, Yuji lets go of the what's called gravity pressure. And of course, Rita does rushes at Yuji. And Yuji says, oh, I see, so you're a demon. Uh, what's it called? Yuji says, what's it called? Teleportation. And he teleports away from Rita. And this is where Yuji says, then die like a demon. Yuji punches at Rita because he right now has Yamato in his mouth. Because he just grabbed the plate. And of course, this is just like punch with the car. Rita in the freaking face. Like in the, what's called, whatever monster they face and all that. And of course, Rita does get launched a little bit back. Away from Urata. Urata was shocked that someone's able to kind of hurt the thing. Or mostly his best, well, someone that he loves mostly. Of course, he gets angry and rushes at Yuji. Yuji grabs Yamato from his mouth and blocks a sword slash. From uh, uh, Yuto. This is where Maki and Maya are right now getting ready. This is where Gojo says, Stop, all of you. This is where, well, uh, Yuji is not stopping because he doesn't really care. Uh, right now, his arm is really healing in such a rapidly uh, speed because of his devil, well, what's it called? Regenerations. And this is where, well, Yuji is still having his arm kind of limp. But this is where, well, uh, Urata says, that will be a lot easier said to de uh, said than done. This is where Gojo says, then I have to knock out this kid. This is where Yuji kind of like, uh, what's called, was still clashing with this guy. Until Yuji, he decides to grab his arm because now he can lift it and all that. His bones are just regen. And he uppercuts what's called Urata in the freaking chin. Kind of launching, uh, launching him up in the air. That's where Yuji kind of does a couple, what's it called, just jumps away. And of course, where Yuji says, that was close than more than done. That was closer than I thought. This is where Gojo appears next to him and says, you know, you know that's rude to hurt my students. Yuji teleports away from him and says, I see. So you're pretty fast. This is where, well, Go ahead and just say, so, that's his teleportation. And I'm guessing you can also teleport. This is where Yuji says, yeah, I can. This is where Gojo says, fine. This is where he says, blue, curse energy, uh, curse technique, blue. And tries to pull in what's called Yuji. And Yuji, he does get pulled in. But this is where Yuji says, repulsion. This is where he pushes Gojo away when he gets pulled into Gojo. Gojo is confused. He's like, wait, what? That... That's similar to my technique. That's where, well, you just say attraction. That's where he pulls in Gojo. Gojo is confused. This is where Go uh, Gojo was about to get kicked in the head, but Limitless stopped the uh, kick. This is where Yuji kind of realized, huh, I can't hurt you, can I? And this is where Gojo says, exactly, you can't really hurt me. <laughs> you know, since there's infinity between us. That's where Yuji says, that's broken as hell. But, this is where Yuji teleports away, so, uh, he says, but there's always a way to kind of get through uh, infinity. Hmm. Maybe there's can't. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. So where Yuji says, but whatever, I'm done playing games. This is where I will. Yuji was about to use Devil Trigger. Until what's called Yuji's phone started kind of ringing. And this is where Yuji kind of like gets kind of frantic to it. And of course, grab his phone, which he was kind of struggling to get it because he was in the middle of a battle and it's kind of just scared the shit of him. This is where Yuji kind of looks at the alarm 
realized that, well, shit, he has a lot of things to do tomorrow. And kind of fighting this person, well, these people are going to be really difficult. So he just says, you want, how about, uh, I'd rather not fight you now. I got things to do. So I'm going to leave. This is where I reach out to this actually to rush at, at what's it called, Yuji. Yuji dodges it and says, double trigger. Punches it right in the face. And this is where Yuji says, get the fuck out of my way. I have things to do. This is where, well, Yuji disappears. So yeah, well, he doesn't use double trigger. He kind of just like disappeared Yamato away. Like, so that way. And this is where when Rita decides to rush at him, this is where Yuji says, weak force. This is where he punches what's called Rita in the face, kind of making her unable to kind of fight against Yuji. Because Yuji kind of broke some atoms down from what's called Rita. This is where Yuji says, well, I gotta go. Sorry about that white haired dude, black haired dude with some weird creature, two green haired girls, uh, Junko, and other black haired dude. But I gotta leave. This is where Yuji teleports away. And of course, this is where, well, Gojo says, interesting. This is where Rita is unable to move a little bit until, well, Urita says, come on, back in. Of course, this is where she like goes back into the shadow, or whatever the hell it is, but yeah. This is where, well, uh, Maya and Maki are shocked. They're like, holy shit. Uh, Junko is shocked to even see what's to call Yuji even fighting one hand. And it's still whooping ass, but yeah. She's actually feeling something towards Yuji, but she can't really tell. But yeah. Of course, this is where Gojo says, interesting kid. Maybe I should kind of get him into Jujutsu hot. Hmm. This is where he looks at what's it called Megami. And say, so, Megami, why are you so hurt? You know what? These are good pictures for the second years. Actually, Maki and Maya are here, but, you know, click, 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 click. He's just taking pictures at, uh, off what's called Mega Mario being hurt. This is where Maki and Maya say, you idiot. This is where I try to punch it at what's called Gojo, but, of course, they can't hit what's it called. Well, uh, Gojo. Gojo says, oh, calm down. I'm just kidding. Huh. Also, who are you anyway? He looks at the blonde hair girl, and the blonde hair girl says, Oh, my name is Junko. Um, I'm kind of friends with those guys that kind of uh, unlocked that weird finger thing. Oops, I didn't know if that was bad or not. I thought we were just going to find some kind of dud of a ghost or something like that. As a where, well, Maki and Maya were like shocked that she isn't like afraid of the thing. Well, she sounds kind of afraid, but doesn't sound that afraid. That's what Gojo says. Interesting. Why aren't you afraid? Weren't you scared of the fact that you were going to die? This is where Junko says, kind of. I, I don't really want to talk about my past. This is where, well, Gojo says, okay. So, how did you even not get hurt? Wait, you don't even have any damage around your body. Junko says, I can somewhat heal. Gojo's interesting. Okay, is there anything else special about you? Junko says, well, I can also kind of use despair from other people. Like, if they feel despair, that's why I can regen a little bit quicker, but also get stronger from them. It can be a radius of people if they feel kind of despair, but yeah. Gojo's interesting. He says, you know, that's actually a very strong ability. Huh, very strong. Do you want to join Jujutsu High? This is where our Fuji Gojo says, uh, Gojo, you can't just... Yeah, I wanted the other kid, but maybe you'd be also helpful. Hm? Don't you want to help people? Junko says, um, kinda. This is where Gojo says, good. Then you will be on, well, maybe on Fuji Gojo's team. But I also have someone else in mind. This is where Gamora says, you are not thinking of going to go get the pink hair guy, right? That's where uh, Junko says, you mean Yuji? Uh, she says, Yuji-kun? That's where Gojo says, yeah, Yuji. Wait, did you just call him Kun? That's where Junko, Junko says, no, no, I didn't really do that. That's where Gojo says, ah, do, does someone have feelings for the pink hair dude? Third Junko say, no, 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 no. 
until Maya and Maki say, leave her the fuck alone. Try to punch him. Again, that's where Gojo says, okay, fine. I'll leave her alone. But yes, I'm thinking of also kind of getting him. He seems way too strong. And if he can erase well, Sukuna fingers, then he's definitely strong. And also defeat uh, Yurota. Yurota says, yeah, that kid is strong. But he caught me off, uh, off guard. Why? It's because he can actually use gravity. This is where all of them were wider than eyes. And of course, Gojo says, yeah, it seems like he can use gravity manipulation to smash it to the ground. This is where they're like, so that's why Yurota feels like, what was it called? That's why Rita couldn't even hurt him. Yes, he's not using Infinity or anything like me. He's not using Limitless or anything. He's not from the Gojo family, I don't think so. But he's using gravity. Something so strange and so powerful at the same time. <laughs> that would also piss off the elders if I found someone like that again. Just like you, Urata. Urata says, yeah, whatever. Gojo says, but the one thing I haven't actually seen is his eyes. This is where uh, Junko says his eyes. Um, well, no one in the school has seen his eyes. He's been wearing like shade glasses, so really no one ever seen his eyes. That's why, well, Gojo says, hmm, ah, whatever, I'll go figure out what it is, but yeah. This is why, well, the next day happens, Yuji is still in like that, what's it called, crematory and all that, crematory. And of course, this is where Yuji's kind of waiting outside, texting on his phone, and kind of making plans and all that. So what, because of his grandfather died, he's trying to make plans. Well, right now, he's kind of a struggling mess right now because he's kind of saddened that someone that was also descendants of, well, the uh, two great people is now dead and he's now left alone. So, of course, it's very hard for him not to kind of cry a little bit, trying to remember a lot of memories about his grandfather. That's where every time he's clicking and texting, he's like thinking of what to do next. But yeah, is it where, well... Gojo says, aw, hey kid, are you crying? That's where Yuji recognized that voice and jumps out his seat and like... This is where Yuji uh, was like shocked and jumped out of his seat, teleporting right in front of the chair and seeing Gojo be, well, kind of behind the chair. Gojo is interested on this kid a lot. He can teleport, he can use, well, similar techniques to uh, towards him, like red and blue. He can also, what's it called, well, be very fast. And he seems to kind of be, what's it called, well, not in the greatest mood. Yuji seems not to be in the greatest mood, and Yuji says, What the hell do you want? Wait, aren't you that white haired bastard that can use infinity or limitless or whatever it's called around here? I can't really think of it, but I don't care. Why the hell are you? Uh, well, kind of stalking me like a creepy person. That's where Gojo say, wait, wait, no, 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 no. You got the wrong idea. I'm not stalking you. This is where he, he says, then how would you know I'm right now at my kind of, uh, kind of grandfather's funeral? This is where Gojo says, ah, this seems, ah, shit, this seems oddly awkward, don't you think? That's where Yuji says, um, yeah. Yuji is stepping like a couple of uh, feet away from Gojo. And this is where Gojo says, Hmm, this seems a little strange, doesn't it? Well, no, no, no. Don't think I am stalking you, okay? I am mostly kind of looking after you. Yuji steps a little further away from Gojo. Gojo says, Ah, shit, that's even worse. Um, look here, I just want to talk to you, okay? This is where, uh, Yuji says, yeah, that's what all creepy stalkers say until uh, they get close to people. That's where I go to say, okay, let me, let me explain first. Sorry about my... So where, well, Yuji says, fine, I'll give you three seconds. Go just say, that isn't going to give me enough time. Can you at least, like, hear me out for three minutes at least? Yuji say, fine. This is where Yuji is kind of like standing away from Gojo. Gojo's like, can you at least get closer? 
Yuji steps a couple feet forward. Now Yuji is not afraid of Gojo that much, but Gojo's like limitless is kind of a problem to him. So of course as well, well, uh, Yuji can always teleport away from him or have to dodge him or anything like that. But yeah, Gojo says, "Okay, my name is uh, Satoru Gojo, and I'm wanting you to, well, become a Jujutsu sorcerer." A Jujutsu Sorcerer, he explains what it is. He also explains what they actually do and all them other things. And yeah. Yuji says, why would I... Wait. Yuji thinks about it. And Gojo says, yeah, what is your answer? Yuji thinks about it, about his grandfather kind of wanting him to kind of protect people and all that. Yuji says, oh shit, that's going to be such a headache for me. Why, grandfather, why did you give me something like that? As we were, well, Go, uh, Joe says, so what is the answer? Yuji uh, looks at the crematorium and sees that it's already done about crematorium. His grandfather and all. And of course, to where Yuji says, I will think about it after I go get my grandfather's ashes, it's okay. As we are, well, uh, Yuji walks in and Gojo also walks in. This is where Yuji says, you know, you don't really need to walk in. Gojo says, I'm just making sure you don't actually get away from me. Yuji says, that makes you sound like a goddamn pedophile. This is where Gojo says, okay, why do you think of me like that? This is where Go uh, Yuji says, why are you following me? First of all, I'm not a girl, so don't, don't, don't think of anything like me like that, okay? I'm not a girl. I just have very long pink hair. This is where Gojo says, uh, god damn it. This is where Yuji's kind of like picking up the ashes really fast and all and of course, put it in the face and all, but being careful at the same time. And of course, this is where Gojo says, you know, you're extremely fast for being a normal kid. This is where Yuji says, I was never a normal kid. Hmm. <sighs> My family is not that normal if you want to think about it. I am not a normal child or anything. So it's kind of obvious to see that I'm kind of different from people. Not special in a case of like, this kid is special because of his eyes, special because of his strength, special because of anything. I'm just different. That's where Gojo says, hmm. He kind of thinks about it when he was younger. Also, because Gojo was always special. While Yuji thinks he's not special, even though he's definitely a descendant of like, kind of strong people. Like, not kind of, very strong people. <laughs> this is where Yuji says, but yeah, this is where Gojo says, can I see your eyes at least? Yuji says, first of all, I'm not into that. I'm not into dudes, okay? Calm the fuck down. Gojo says, stop making this absolute weird. I'm not, but then again, I'm saying it kind of weirdly. But no, 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 don't think of it like that. <laughs> this is where Yuji says, if I accept this answer, will you stop stalking me? Gojo says, kinda? This is where Yuji says, well, not Yuji, Yuji then says uh, he'll accept the answer. He says, maybe, maybe not, okay? Give me a week. You can go back to whatever you were doing. Uh, this is where Yuji disappears, and yeah. Yuji for a week has been kind of doing other things. He's been training, and of course, he has used his sensory, because he's a, well, very good sensory. Type and all that, and he has since Gojo multiple times looking at him. And of course, when Yuji kind of went into the forest to kind of train a little bit, this is where Yuji says, What do you want, you white haired bastard? Gojo's shocked to even know that Yuji actually known he was there. This is where Gojo says, So you know, I was here. This is where Go uh, Yuji says, Yeah, you've been stalking me for the past week. What the hell do you want? This is where, well, Gojo says, Stalking you, it's a uh, very strong word. I am mostly moderating you so you won't leave the state. This is where Yuji says, so stalking me. Gojo says, no, 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 no. I'm just making sure that you don't get into trouble or anything like that. Yuji says, stalking me. This is where Gojo says, do you accept or not? This is where, well, Yuji has been in school and he has wanted to talk to the blonde haired girl, but hasn't seen her. This is where, well, Yuji says, fine, I will join. 
this is where Gojo says good, cause uh, um, yeah, let's just go. This is where well, Yuji and Gojo kind of go to Tokyo, and of course, when they get to what's it called, meeting the principal, the principal says, "So, Gojo, who is this kid?" Gojo says, "This is Yuji's authority." This is where Yuji says, "Hello." He kind of bow down, like being kind of uh respect and all that. And of course, the principal says, "Tell me, Yuji, what, why, what did bring, uh, what brings you here?" Uh, go. Uh, this is where Yuji thinks about it. He could give the answer that I might just want to help people, but also the answer that he's wanting to think mostly. This is where Yuji points at Gojo and says, "This motherfucker has been stalking me." Over a fucking week. He won't leave me alone. He's been stalking me. Even though he says he's moderating me. Bullshit. But yeah. This is where Yagi looks at Gojo. Gojo says, no, 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 no. no. Don't. No. Motherfucking kid. I, I already felt like he was going to say something like this. I am not stalking the kid. I was only simply. um. I was only simply moderating the kid. Yage yeah, says, so stalking. Gojo says, why, why do you two have to be so difficult? No! Uh, this is where Yage says, give me another answer. Yuji says, fine. Um, hmm. I, I want to help people, okay? I want to help people. From curse uh, spirits like that. Since I might have the power to destroy Sukuna's fingers, I guess. If that's what uh, white-haired dude over there is telling me, then I want to help people. It's, I guess, of a goal of mine. Huh. Maybe die without regret. Is the way Yage looks at him and says, You know you can't save everyone. Yuji says, oh, I know that. I can't save anyone. I'm not a god. If I was, then I must be a descendant of a god. But I know I'm not. Yuji did give a hint that he is a descendant of a god. And Gojo did not catch that or Yage. This is where Yuji says, hmm. I guess I just want to save those who might be close to me. Or, yeah, protect those at least. Or protect anyone in general. That's where Yaga says, Fine. Then I'll allow you to bring in, well, allow allow you to be in Jujutsu High. Welcome. That's where uh, Yaga says, I will tell, I would have told Gojo to kind of go bring it to, well, one of the rooms and all that. But since I know that Gojo is kind of a stalker, I, I kind of want to talk to him, okay? Just goes to this kind of area. That's where Gojo says, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Let me just bring in Taurus where he's going to be at. This is where uh, Yaga says, so where are you even going to put him on a team? Wait for your girl. This is where Yaga says, but the team is full. It's fine, Gojo said. Yaga says, whatever, do whatever the hell you want. Uh, was it called? Uh, Gojo. That's where... Gojo says, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is where, well, Yage uh, just allows Gojo to bring Yuji towards the rooms. This is where when Yuji is brought towards the room, uh, Yuji says, okay, so what room is mine? This one. Yuji says, okay, creepy soccer dude. I'm just going to go inside. Don't stalk me. I'm not into dudes, okay? So, yeah. This is where, before he opens the door, this is where, well, a door opens beside him. And it's Fujigoro, and Fujigoro says, what the hell is that noise? This is where he looks at what's it called, Gojo and the pink haired dude. This is where, well, Fujigoro says, aren't you that one dude? Yuji says, aren't you that one dude that was hurt and had it to be protected by a girl? Fujigoro already has a tick mark from uh, what's it called, Yuji. And Yuji is smiling. <laughs> this is where, well... Gojo says, okay, can you two not fight, at least? That's where Nobra says, what the hell's the noise? I'm trying to do things here. What the hell is happening? That's where Nobra sees the call Yuji for the first time. And Nobra says, who the hell is this dude? Gojo says, you're a new teammate. 
This worked for Jigoro and Nobra Six, but what about? This is where, well, another door opens, and of course, this is where, well, someone with blonde hair appears, but of course, it's all long and all that. Like, very long. There's no ponytails or anything. It looks like she just woke up, and this is where she's kind of like getting rid of the sleep from her eye, and this is where she says, Gojo Sensei, why are you being so loud? Also, Fujigoro and bro, when she looks up, she sees the pink hair kid and all that, named Yuji Satori. Yuji turns around and sees a uh, Junko. That's where Yuji says, So, you must be uh, Junko, aren't you? Junko kind of becomes red face and, and says, y y Yuji? Yuji says, Hi. This is where, well, she says, Hello. Of course, Gojo says, Aw, this seems kind of cute. This is where Yuji says, I was here, force beyond my will. Or, yeah, force, force into the school. Well, anything. That's where Nobra says, Wait, what do you mean? Well, any permission. This is where Yuji says, This white haired bastard has been stalking me non stop until I joined the school. This is where Nobra looks at Kojo and says, What the hell is wrong with you? Junko is also kind of disgusted a little bit. Fujigoro just looks at Gojo and like, what the hell have you been doing? Is that what you've been doing for the week? This one week? Gojo says, no, I was moderating him. They all say, so stalking. Gojo says, I, you know, I give up. You know, I, I don't care. I got to go talk to Principal Yage. This is where Yuji goes into his room, but yeah. And this is where I'm actually going to leave it off for part, well, one of this what. But yeah, now I know I got to go finish what's called parts, well not parts, I got to go finish what's called the different other what ifs, the what's called Yuji what ifs, I only go towards, well, Pacific ending, but yeah, but not really, until like the uh, anime comes out, I'm not going to end it, because until like season two comes out, I might end it at a, around them there, but yeah. But yeah, but other than that, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seed, potato, potato, and potato. Potato.